So the first way we're going to test for convergence or divergence is simply a divergence test. So if it fails this test, it doesn't necessarily say that it converges, um, but we don't know whether it converges or diverges. So the nth term test basically says this, and we've actually seen this before. This is the contrapositive of a theorem that we had a, a couple of sections ago. Um, and what it says is if the limit of the terms in the series are not equal to zero, then the series itself diverges. We've already seen this before. What this is saying is if, if we're adding a bunch of numbers together and those numbers are not approaching zero, then it's going to diverge. Because if it's not approaching zero, let's just say we have a, have a sum of positive numbers. If we have a bunch of positive numbers that are not really close to zero, that means that the sum is getting bigger and bigger. And it's going to be unbounded. It's going to get bigger and bigger without bound. Um, so the series is going to diverge. The only way for a series to possibly converge is if the terms get really, really, really small, really close to zero. So if they don't get close to zero, that means it diverges. Now, that doesn't mean that if the limit of the terms does approach zero, that doesn't mean that it converges. So understand that the converse of this is not necessarily true. So just to give you an example, um, I'll make this a simple example. Let's say 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. Is this going to converge or diverge? It diverges. Why? Yeah, so in this particular series, the limit as n approaches infinity of a sub n is equal to 1, and it's not equal to 0, so that means that it diverges. And what that's saying is we're just going to add up a infinitely many number finite terms that are not getting small, um, so it's going to diverge. Okay. Now, on the other hand, if we have something like this, this is a classic example. We'll come back to this one later today, too. Uh, let's say we have this series. That is not at all what I wanted to do. So this series right here is what's called the harmonic series. The harmonic series is just the series of the numbers 1 over n. So it's 1 plus 1 over 2 plus 1 over 3 plus 1 over 4 and so on. Um, so if we tried to use the nth term test for divergence here, we would take the limit as n approaches infinity of 1 over n, and what's that going to be? Zero. So what conclusion could we make then? Using this theorem, we can't make any conclusion. We don't know anything else. We know nothing new using this test for divergence. So we would have to do something else. It actually turns out that if we add all of these numbers together, it's going to diverge. And what, what that means is, let's say I want the terms in this to add up to some arbitrary number. I want, to, want them to add up to 100. I could pick a number n so that if I use n terms, it would add up to over 100. Or if I wanted to add up to over a million, I could make them add up to over a million by adding enough terms. Or if I wanted to add up to a trillion, then I could add up enough terms. It would be a lot of them, but I could add up enough terms to get it over a million or a billion or a trillion or any number that I pick. So this, this series right here is actually going to get infinitely large if we use infinitely many terms. It's going to grow really slowly, but it gr grows enough that it's going to diverge. So here's another example. Um, let's see if the series, uh, the series here, the, the sum of the numbers 4 to the 1 over n converges or diverges. If we use the nth term test here, what limit do we want to evaluate? Okay, so we want to find the limit of 4 to the 1 over n as n approaches infinity. And before we even evaluate this, let's talk about what the results could be. If this is zero, then what do we know? We don't know anything. We, we know nothing new from where we started. If this is not zero, then what do we know? 
it diverges. So if this limit does not exist or is any number besides zero, then this series is going to diverge. So what's going to happen here? What, what happens to the 1 over n part of this? That's going to go to 0. And so the 4 to the 0 is going to do what? It's going to approach 1. So since the limit of the terms is going to approach 1, then what do we know? You guys know what the symbol means? Therefore, the series diverges.